My story is kind of, I started off my freshman year of high school and I was, I lost my best friend and I just kind of, that big event in my life kind of just tore me apart and I, um, <laughs> I was then diagnosed with depression and anxiety after that and so it was just kind of sharing my journey with other people I felt like that was something that was really important for people here to hear um, I feel like a lot of people don't always understand where people are coming from and there's always that social stigma of mental illness and I kind of wanted to normalize that and have people start talking about depression anxiety and just the mental illness aspect there were two points in my life where I didn't want to be here to a point that I acted on it on my own on my on my body and I don't want anyone to feel like they are at that point of feeling completely hopeless that there is nothing left for them. Um, the first time happened while I was in high school, while I was in that school age. The second time happened shortly after, young adult life and I wanted to give hope to the people who are stuck in that rut at maybe 15, 16, 17 years old. I didn't realize it until I was 21. I'm, I'm not over it, that's okay. for sure. Um, I've recently been having some struggling struggles going to class and things like that. Um, I have been recently taking dif different medication, so that has definitely helped. Um, I've been talking a lot with my friends. Um, I'm probably going to start seeing a counselor. Um, but that was something that I mentioned earlier, was that I don't feel like just because I'm speaking about it, I'm cured, or I have the answers. Because every day is different for me, and every person's battle is different, and I don't think that I can ever... I mean, I can get to a good place and understand myself, but I'm definitely at a place where I understand my illness, but it's not perfect. The biggest thing for me was shedding that negativity that everyone else had put on me. And now I'm at a point where I'm not only accepting myself, but I'm loving myself. The things that I don't love about myself, I change. I make active steps to be a better person every single day. And that was the biggest step for me to move myself forward, is realizing, no, I'm not perfect, but I can be better. They're, they're not alone, and that this mental illness or something that they're feeling does not define who they are, doesn't define who they are as a person. It's something that they may be dealing with, but doesn't define who they are. I've been there and it hurts and I'm now at a point where I still think about it. It's still going to be there. It's always going to be a darkness. But I can look back at my scars. I can look back at the impact I've had on other people and realize that's not the best way to handle it. There's always going to be a better way, a more positive way, whether that's talking it out, whether that's exercising or staring at the night sky. That's my favorite thing, get lost in the stars.